Hello everyone, we are Plastic Guys. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas from Johan Plasto. Hello guys, I'm Martin from Precious Plastic Slovakia. Hey, this is Teresa from Plaslo from Prague. Hi, I'm Tom from Plast Makers. In this video you'll get information about five Precious Plastic projects in Central Europe. Germany, Slovakia and Czech Republic. So stay tuned and enjoy. I started my own project um, in the beginning of 2020, but was following precious plastic since the beginning. In 2018 we started building the shredder and in 2019 uh, with shredder and injection ready we started with production. It was two years ago. I joined the community about one month ago, so I'm quite new to it. I started in April 2020. Because of the worldwide plastic waste problem, less than 15% gets recycled and about 10 million tons of plastic is dumped into the world's oceans every year. Basically, we were fascinated with precious plastic idea. Also, we are a bunch of mechanical engineers and we wanted to bring a solution for plastic problem. Two years ago, uh, on our architecture school, we've created a project using recycled plastic as a facade. And uh, this started our interest in plastic recycling. And we decided that we will start our own workshop to recycle locally. I started Plaslo because I wanted to inspire to appreciate every resource we have and to show that plastic waste can be beautiful. I make furniture design from recycled plastic waste. Is it this plastic trash? It's everywhere, along roads, in nature. I made a promise to myself that I can do something with it. Um, my only product by now is a lamp and I'm very happy that I can produce with just one mold. Um, different versions like these with sunken parts or these with a frame but also the next product is on the way and I'm also very happy with that. It's definitely our Slovakia shape uh, keyring. It's our first and also most favorite product. As you can see we are sitting right next to this table and uh, this is the largest project we've been working on and let's say the most tough of them and therefore we are proud of it. It serves uh, in this very nice binary shop and we hope people will like it as we do. This plastic sheet, this is just a sample but uh, we are making sheets 50 to 80 centimeters uh, and the thickness from 5 mm to 35 mm and we are using mostly polypropylene and uh, HDPE we use a couple of colors and you can see this sample I used natural and black polypropylene I'm definitely the most proud of my first side table the prototype I made my the most favorite project is geodesic dome but I'm the most proud of this handmade snapback. Next to the shredder, because it gives me the, the flakes I need, and it's just fun to shred, it's the injection machine, because of the possibilities of complex geometries in good quality, and also these nice, Marbling effects. Uh, so far our injection machine in Elena is our most favorite machine and why? Because it's easy to use, it's re reliable and it's smooth um, by the terms of injection plastic. Uh, we definitely like our shredder which is a lot of fun but also we are only working with uh, plastic sheet press and uh, we have the gold press, so definitely sheet pressing. My favorite machine is the sheet press. I got it from Tomasz from Plast Makers. I like injection machine because of nice patterns, but the most favorite machine is a mini press.
first think about the product or products you like to make and with that you can figure out which machines you need and how big your workspace has to be and get in touch with the community. It's perseverance, definitely teamwork, being able to risk and doing everything with passion. Definitely a lot of time, a lot of work we will put into it and also a lot of money. Well, I would recommend to start as soon as possible and not to think about it too much. Three things. Never give up, never give up and never give up. According to the precious plastic world, it's the Netherlands because there was the beginning of this movement and there are also the most workspaces. I would say it's uh, Denmark. I think definitely Netherlands and Denmark. For me, it is definitely the Scandinavian countries and also Holland for sure. And New Zealand. Just me. Currently we have six team members. We are free, but uh, in a few months we are looking forward to someone new. Right now it is just me, but I hope more people will come to help me in the future. I do plus makers alone, but my friend helps me with electricity wiring. No, but I hope someday it will be and it's a little dream that this will be my main work. Uh, yes, uh, it is. It's hard to manage, but after one year we've been able to stabilize it. Yes, I think that it's a few months that we are sustainable. Plaslo is not financially sustainable yet, but I'm sure it will be pretty soon. It's not sustainable yet, but I hope in a few months it will be sustainable to provide you more how-tos, more new experiments and new molds and machines. About 3 kilograms yet. It's 3 to 5 kilograms uh, since we are uh, making only small products so far. When we produce these sheets, only these sheets, it's about uh, 100 kilo of recycled plastic waste. Well, monthly I recycle about 20 kilos. It's about 5 kilograms. Happy recycling, everyone! And good luck with plastic recycling! Ciao, ciao! And that's all, thank you! And have a nice day! See you. Bye! Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget we would like to see your projects as well, experience from your country, from your communities and uh, you can create your own video and share it with us. So, bye!